Welcome back. Well, the banking counter on the NGX still on a downtrend um, at the last close. Um, yesterday, we saw a 1.45% drop uh, for the banking counter and uh, insurance. So financial services still taking uh, a beating um, right there in the market as usual. This is just what we've had for a couple of weeks now. So let's talk to uh, Dan Larry, uh, Simi Yuna, macroeconomic strategist, Afri-Invest um, Research and Consulting. Great to have you on the show. Good morning. Thank you, Ladi. Good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, so we've seen most banking stock uh, prices fall significantly since the announcement of the um, revocation of a banking license for um, Heritage Bank. Is this um, reaction, are investors overreacting, you know, at this time? Uh, yeah, once again, thank you, Ladi, for having me on the show. I mean, uh, in this sort of environment, in this sort of macroeconomic climate that, climate that we have now, where everything's already fixed, uh, you wouldn't be surprised seeing that sort of knee-jerk reaction from the investor as regards the performance of uh, banking tickets in the last two days. Uh, you recall that even when you look at the broader economy uh, uh, perspective itself, I mean, there's a lot of pressure that makes people to be very sensitive to any change in the environment. You have inflation as record high of like 3.7%. Uh, you have um, uh, Tension even from the labor side. Monday, when the announcement on Red State Bank was made, was when the labor uh, uh, began their strike, which yesterday was eventually suspended. So that tension, I mean, that pressure is coming from the macro side. And when you then look at the banking sector to be specific, over the last 12 months, that sector has been in the spotlight. Of course, it's part of the agenda, I mean, reform agenda of President Tinubu. But again, the fact that the sector has been under spotlight makes everything that happens there to draw a uh, market or investors reaction we had some policies that a lot of market watchers are, are still analyzing on what effect could be on bank the banking industry uh, going into the future we have policies like the uh, net open position ceiling that the uh, cbn uh, placed on bank where they can only have asset liability mix uh, that's not more than 20 percent and for assets equity mix that is of zero level so that NOP window is one of the areas where blank, uh, banks used to hedge their asset and, 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 and return impressive number. Saw so them a return impressive number in the last three years, even with the slow growth in the economy. Uh, even with the slow growth in the economy. But uh, because of this dynamic, right, uh, people are now beginning to see how will banks be able to fit if uh, this NOP position uh, has been redefined like what we currently have now. So in the middle of all this, we also have other policies like the increase in CRR to 45% from 32.5. Uh, we also have recently pronouncement that the banking sector should recapitalize, you know, and the CBN defined the sort of capital expected to be share capital and share premium. So virtually all the banks are looking for money now to meet up new recapitalization uh, standards in the next two years. So all those things that uh, are still in the in, in, in process shaping the industry. So hearing the news of like a bank, uh, I mean the license of one of the uh, maybe not the major bank, one of but one of the uh, as uh, focused lender in the economy will always track a major reaction. And interestingly, right, looking at the NGX broadly, the banking sector is the only sector year to date that is in the negative region, and that is because of the sort of need that negative reaction to banking tickets in Q2, because in Q1, the banking sector was also up there. So uh, the long and short of what I'm saying is that the sort of reaction we have seen on the banking tickets in the last two days were informed by broad macroeconomic dynamics okay. and the high, excessive spotlight on the banking industry, given the reforms that are ongoing. Right. And now we're gradually approaching the second quarter earnings season. Based on your assessment, uh, what are you expecting? So in, in terms of expectation around earnings for Q2, um, I, uh, I think uh, it will still be a mixed bag. Mixed bag in the sense that sectors that are heavily exposed to FX, which is the uh, major uh, uh, driver of, uh, you know, the unimpressive performance of a lot of businesses since last year when we shift our FX policy, is still, is still, is still very active. So we think that those sectors that are very exposed or highly exposed to FX uh, usage in terms of importation or in their production program, sectors like the consumer group, uh, the brewery sector, and even the ICT, you might see their numbers not coming in at, at, at an impressive level. But we still think that uh, uh, the banking sector, 
the oil and gas will still uh, remain resilient in terms of earnings for Q2 because uh, even though uh, some of the one of the major ways whereby bank hedge their asset and make um, earnings from it, which is the end of the very defined. We think that banks still have other windows to sweat out their asset and make it. And for the oil and gas guys, uh, even with the lower Naira exchange rate value, now Naira is trading with the region of 1,000, 3,000, it, it will still be a good one for oil, 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 oil flow here because the Naira conversion rate, I mean, the Naira uh, equivalence of whatever they are earnings from oil will still be high. But sectors like insurance might have their uh, earnings not to be, it will be positive, but not so very strong okay. because of uh, weak penetration. But by and large, we think that um, it will be a mixed bag uh, some will be uh, some will return positive any in Q2, while some will still be pressured by the FX impact. All right, we'll definitely be looking out for uh, the Q2 earnings and uh, see what that tells us about the Nigerian economy. Thank you so much, Dami Larry um, is the macroeconomic strategist, Afri Invest Research and Consulting. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Larry, for having me. All right, that's it for me on Business Morning. We'll get a summary of today's uh, stock market close later today. I'm Ladi Williams. Bye bye.